NASA is planning to build the first permanent moon base, and it's going to be epic. This ambitious project will require new technologies and partnerships with private industry, but it's achievable and will have a number of benefits. The moon base will be a place where astronauts can live and work for extended periods of time, and it will also be a hub for scientific research and exploration. It will also be a stepping stone to Mars, and it could even lead to the commercialization of space. So, how is NASA going to build this moon base? And what are the challenges and benefits? Watch this video to find out. The Artemis Program The Artemis Program is NASA's ambitious and forward-looking venture, named after the great goddess of the moon, Artemis. This visionary initiative has a profound and transformative goal, to return humans to the lunar surface, and in doing so, take the first steps towards a sustainable human presence on the moon. Artemis is not a mere reputation of the historic Apollo missions of the 1960s and 70s, which were marked by brief lunar visits and flat planting. Instead, it represents the next giant leap in space exploration, with the intention of establishing a long-term and self-sustaining foothold on our celestial neighbor. By aiming to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2025, the Artemis program seeks to diversify space exploration while building upon the scientific and technological legacy of the Apollo missions. It's about creating a foundation for future exploration, and the moon is envisioned as a critical stepping stone for humanity's journey to Mars and beyond. Central to Artemis is the construction of a lunar base, a concept far more ambitious than the temporary lunar landings of the past. This lunar base will not only serve as a habitat for astronauts, but also as a hub for scientific research, experimentation, and technological development. It will harness local resources such as extracting water from lunar ice and using lunar regolith for building materials to achieve sustainability. The Space Race The space race of the 1960s was a pivotal era in the history of space exploration with the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a fierce competition to achieve milestones in space technology. It was during this time that President John F. Kennedy made a momentous commitment in 1961, declaring that the United States would land astronauts on the moon within the decade. This declaration was not merely a political statement, it was a bold challenge that set the stage for one of the most remarkable achievements in human history. The culmination of this commitment came in 1969 with the historic Apollo 11 mission when astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the lunar surface. This event was a testament to American ingenuity, determination, and the spirit of exploration. It marked a moment of unparalleled national pride and demonstrated the incredible capabilities of NASA and the nation's space program. Fast forward to today and we find NASA embarking on the Artemis program which aims to returning humans to the moon. Artemis carries with it the legacy of the space race, but with a fresh perspective. It represents a rekindling of the same spirit of exploration that defined that era. But this time, it comes with a commitment to sustainability and international cooperation. While the space race was characterized by a competitive mindset, Artemis embraced a collaborative approach with plans to work alongside international partners and promote peaceful exploration. The significance of Artemis lies in its ability to take the lessons learned from the past, honor the legacy of Apollo, and channel them into a new era of space exploration that not only sets its sights on the moon, but also paves the way for the next giant leap. Human Exploration of Mars Human Exploration of Mars Human Exploration of Mars represents the next frontier in space exploration, and NASA is firmly committed to this audacious goal. While the moon missions under the Artemis program serve as critical preparation, venturing to Mars presents challenges of an entirely different magnitude. Mars is a harsh and unforgiving environment, with extreme temperatures, thin and unbreathable atmosphere, and frequent dust storms that can last for months. Moreover, the distance between Earth and Mars is immense, varying from 34.8 million miles, which is 56.2 million kilometers, to 140 million miles that is, 225 million kilometers, depending on their positions in their respective orbits. This vast gulf not only complicates travel, but also introduces significant communication delays, making real-time mission control nearly impossible. 
However, the experience gained from the Artemis program, including developing advanced spacecraft, life support systems, and habitats, will be invaluable in tackling these challenges. NASA's dedication to making Mars exploration a reality showcases the agency's enduring commitment to pushing the boundaries of human exploration and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. Molten Regolith Electrolysis Molten Regolith Electrolysis is a transformative technology at the heart of enabling a lunar base establishment. This cutting edge process leverages the abundant lunar regolith, which is essentially the soil and rocky material covering the moon's surface as a valuable resource. Through electrolysis, a method that uses an electric current to drive a chemical reaction, the regolith is broken down. This results in the separation of its constituent elements, yielding oxygen and various metals. The extracted oxygen holds crucial significance as it becomes a vital resource for breathing, supporting the life of astronauts on the moon. Furthermore, the recovered metals can be repurposed for construction purposes, offering a sustainable and steady resource that significantly reduces the dependency on Earth-bound supplies. This breakthrough technology represents a critical step towards establishing a self-sustaining human presence on the moon for extended periods. First Attack Demonstration for Project Olympus The first attack demonstration is a pivotal element within NASA's Project Olympus which is dedicated to establishing a lunar defense system to protect future lunar base inhabitants. This demonstration represents a crucial step in ensuring the safety and security of the lunar base, as well as advancing the broader goals of lunar exploration. At its core, the first attack demonstration focuses on testing NASA's capacity to intercept and redirect celestial objects that pose potential threats to the moon. These objects could include asteroids and comets, which, if left unchecked, could collide with the moon, potentially causing severe damage or endangering the lives of astronauts residing on the lunar base. By actively addressing these cosmic threats, NASA demonstrates its unwavering commitment to the safety of lunar missions and its dedication to fostering a sustainable human presence on the moon. This proactive approach aligns with NASA's broader mission of exploring the moon and beyond while ensuring the security and well-being of spacefaring crews. The Lunar Terrain Vehicle the Lunar Terrain Vehicle LTV stands as a testament to NASA's commitment to enabling astronauts to explore the Moon's surface with utmost efficiency and safety. Designed specifically for lunar exploration, this pressurized rover plays a pivotal role in facilitating scientific endeavors. The LTV is engineered with cutting-edge technology including advanced navigation systems that allow astronauts to navigate the challenging and rugged lunar landscape with precision. These systems ensure the astronauts can plan and execute their missions effectively, avoiding hazards and optimizing their routes. Moreover, the LTV is equipped with robust communication tools, enabling seamless contact with mission control and fellow astronauts. This communication capability is vital for relaying important data, receiving instructions, and maintaining connectivity while exploring remote lunar terrains. Importantly, the rover features life support systems, guaranteeing the astronauts' well-being during extended missions. These systems provide a controlled environment within the pressurized rover, ensuring that astronauts have access to breathable air and a comfortable temperature. NASA's Habitable Mobility Platform The Habitable Mobility Platform HMP, is NASA's answer to creating a comfortable living space for astronauts on the moon. It's a pressurized habitat equipped with all the essentials for life, including sleeping quarters, a kitchen, and recreational areas. The HMP not only serves as a home away from home, but also acts as a hub for scientific research and experimentation. It's where astronauts can eat, sleep, work, and relax, providing a vital cornerstone for lunar base operations. A Lunar Mobility Suit For astronauts to venture outside the lunar base, they need specialized spacesuits. NASA's Lunar Mobility Suit LMS is designed for the Moon's unique conditions. It offers increased mobility, protection from the harsh environment, and a robust life support system. With the LMS, astronauts can conduct extravehicular activities EVAs, for extended periods, making it possible to perform critical tasks such as maintenance, repairs, and scientific exploration. NASA's Artemis program represents an exciting chapter in space exploration with the ambitious goal of establishing a sustainable lunar base as a stepping stone to Mars. Through innovative technologies and a commitment to scientific discovery, NASA is making the dream of human colonization of the Moon a reality. As we look to the future, the cosmic horizon holds the promise of even greater achievements.
beckoning humanity onward to the stars. And there you have it, the visionary plan to build the first moon base under NASA's Artemis program. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic voyage through space exploration's past, present, and future. If you have any thoughts or questions about this exciting endeavor, please share them in the comments below.